Hey guys, and welcome back to Twilight Princess. In the last part, we... And in this part, we're gonna go ahead and do more. Alright. So, use the ball and chain. Hit that guy. Or hit the thing. And... Gotta cross the chandelier. Um... Whew! Made it. Come on. Get up, get up. Whew! Yeah! I'm freaking Bruce Lee, man. All right, Bruce Link. Haha. <laughs> See what I did there? All right, anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. All right. Anyway, uh, here's how you can use this thing as a shield. Now, these things are going to come for me, as you can see. Swing and aim at the ground. You see? They'll come at you until the... They will attack you forever, but they will never make it. But the thing you got to worry about there is ac accidentally targeting them because if you target them, the ball starts swinging like this, like over your head. But if you're aiming down, it actually swings down right in front of you as opposed to this. So, yeah. Go ahead and transform into a wolf because there is a Poe here for you to get. As opposed to a Poe that you're not supposed to get. Come on, get out of there before the bats get you. Woo! Da -da -da -da, we got a Poe's hole. All right. Now, uh, this room can kind of throw you for a loop because this is one of the last and most important rooms you got to go through. There was a second door there, but we don't have a key for it yet. So, you're going to need a key there. But you have to remember that that room has a key. Like, an, like a locked door. So, now we're back here in this room. And you're going to want to go ahead and hit that. And you're going to want to hit that. Come on, thank you. Okay. So, the quickest way to do this is to do this. Go ahead and hit the blocks with that. And then... Just hit it this way. This is actually really simple. But again, you're going to have to get used to this concept of a stopper. And that is what this is. That's what this block is going to be. So here, I'll show you what I mean by a stopper. So... Go ahead and basically rinse and repeat the first part of the puzzle again. And then, you know, hit it this way. And your stopper is going to be in such a position that it will stop the block so that it will hit the switch. That's all you need to grasp. You just need to grasp the concept of the stopper. And once you do, these puzzles are unbelievably easy. Uh, most block pushing puzzles aren't really like this. They don't really you know, give you the amount of freedom that this one gives you, or really just any Zelda block-pushing puzzle. But, yeah. That's how you can get, um... What? How did... Uh, Alright, well, fine here. I'm gonna cut to when this is fixed, so hang on. I should have just pushed it. Alright, there we go. See, the only reason why that messed up is just because I was using the ball and chain to do it when I shouldn't have used that. I should have just been patient, but no. <sighs> In my effort to get done incredibly quickly, I kind of, you know, screwed myself over. But, okay. Whatever. It's fixed now. So, yep. So come on up here. This is the door that you just now opened. This is the one on the second floor, not the first one. Come up here. And let's see. Um, oh, yeah. We haven't even been outside yet um, with the ball and chain. Um, all right. So what you want to do is use your bomb arrows to take care of these guys. That should have gotten him, I think. Unless he's down there. I don't know. But, okay. Um. Dang it. Oh, he backed off the edge. That's weird. Did he die? I think he died. Wow. I didn't know that was going to happen, but <laughs> I'll take it. Sure. That means I didn't really waste any bomb arrows. Because I would have used about the same amount. Alright, but anyway. Come in here. And we have yet another room. Um, alright. Break that. And we got more chandeliers to play around with here. Uh, be careful about falling, even though... Oh, uh, well, actually, I guess you don't really have to, because once you break that ice, you know, you get the claw shot target, so you don't even need to worry if you do fall. There we go. At this point, it would just be wasting time if you fell. It's nothing really big. Alright, I believe this is the key? Yes, it is. Awesome. And we're getting close to being done here, and we're only five minutes in. Or, oh, about six minutes. 
or so. All right, let's see. Where are we? Um, okay, I know where to go. Ow! <sighs> so now that you have your key, you can just go ahead. You can go and head back to that room that I said that you don't want to forget about. And for what? <laughs> Link, stop hitting things. Um, I actually remembered about it because you know I knew that I was supposed to. But this is the room where if I ever die in this game, it's gonna be here. This is gonna be the only point in which I die if I do. So I'm just letting you know that now. This room is a douchebag. You get two of these big guys to be really, really act oh, I am pointing at the screen, thank you. Um, if you wanna have a little bit of more uh, space to move around, break all this furniture. So, yeah. Um, now let him... Oh, jeez. You see how far that stuff goes? If any of it touches you, you're frozen. Die? Die. You just have to be patient with these guys. If you try to rush in and kill them, you will get killed. Just saying. Not with this one, though, because he was facing so far away. He would have he would have had to take in his entire attack cycle just to turn around. But, okay. Oh, come on. There we go. So hit these things, and you can open the way up here. Um, all right. Ow, open the door. Jeez. Now, where am I? I don't even know. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, go ahead and turn this. You're going to have to do this eventually, so just go ahead and do it now. I know what I'm doing now, though. Don't worry. I remembered what to do. So, um, go ahead and come down here, and you're going to need to go all the way back down to the first floor, and there is going to be a cannonball area here, right here. Dang it! Link, I'm in front of the door! Open it! Jeez! Okay. Ugh. So, hit this. I, I just hate pushing those things, because it takes so long. You know, you go into a freaking letterbox segment where you're forced to watch Link you know, push the block, and then they give you 10 seconds of letting you watch Aftermath of where the block ended up and stuff. It's really aggravating, but okay. <sighs> now what you gotta do is you have to, you know, pull this. We're basically just transporting a cannonball to the cannon upstairs. That's really all there is to it. It's just really tedious because of the way you have to move cannonballs out, you know, between rooms. Uh, so here I am, just moving freaking cannonballs. We'll be gonna on a unassign my bombs to bomb arrows and just make them regular bombs. Okay, cannonball. Switch the cannon. Then get back on the cannon. Then get your bombs. Then put them in the cannon and then wait for it to explode. Kaboom. And you know, that would never freaking work with that cannon design, because, okay, that cannon, all the force from the bomb expl- What? I thought- no, yeah, whatever. Oh, wait, 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 I thought the cannonball was gonna be out there, my bad. Uh, anyway, all the force from the cannonball explosion would be just forced out the hole that you put it in. So, I mean, it's not sealed, so it wouldn't- there would not nearly be enough force to actually propel that cannonball anywhere because the bomb is exploding in an open location. But anyway, why do I have these random freaking rants about physics and, lo and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't even know anything about physics. I didn't take a physics class. It's just freaking common knowledge that that wouldn't work. And yet Nintendo can't see that. <laughs> but okay. Well, I'm sure they probably can, but it's like, uh, nobody will actually have a philosophical discussion about it. Alright, but anyway. Now that you've done that, you want to come over here. Now, we just killed a big frosty dude up there, and you can't normally get up here because of that guy. Because if, the only way to get up here is by a ladder, and if you climb up the ladder, he's like right there in front of you, and you can't climb up, and he'll hit you and stuff. So, yeah. Um... Dang it, I hate these things. So annoying. Die. See, they're gonna bounce all around and crap. There. Ugh. So, um, go ahead and come in here. 
And this is pretty much the last room of the dungeon, aside from the boss. Man, I went through this so fast. Okay. So. There is a very, very easy way to do this room. And then there's a very, very annoying way to do this room. I'm going to hopefully do it the easy way. You see those icicles? Every single one of them is one of those ice guys with the spears. So. Don't move and throw your balls around, okay? It really works. All you do is you just hit them before they fall down, and you instantly kill them before they can uh, pose a problem. So just do that. You might, yeah, you're going to want to test your distance a little bit because you don't really know how far the thing goes. So just do it this way, and you'll save yourself a serious headache. Do it this way too if you don't wanna if you don't feel like, you know. Haha! -ha! Oh what? Die. That's what you get for surviving. And wow, it dropped a red rupee, nice. Crap. Um now something you can do. Oh something that you can do. Dang it! Ugh! Because it's not doing what I'm wanting it to do. Freaking all right, so it's going to throw it, but see, when you're carrying it like this, here, watch. When you're carrying it like this, it actually functions as a shield. Come on. Aha, see? He hit it, and it didn't do anything, and this is not a good situation. Crap. Ouch. All right, fine. I'm going to have to use bomb arrows to do this. But that's okay. I don't mind. Hey, I can destroy these things with bomb arrows? I didn't know that. Kaboom. But yeah, if you if you get unlucky and they all manage to come down, then just hit them with bomb arrows. It's not hard. Kaboom. And that's it. You just got you just have to be quick with your bomb arrows. If you don't hit them fast enough, they're gonna get their spears back up, just like I said before. So just be careful about that. Because nobody wants them to get their spears back. Nobody. And hey, look, we're getting a big key out of a regular chest, which is really freaking stupid. I don't know why they did it like that. It's like, oh, I hope she didn't give us the wrong room again. Ooh. I mean, you never see this room any other time. The only way that you can see this room is at the very end of the dungeon. So I don't know why they bothered to try a fake out. So, okay. Now I've got two more healings left. I'm going to go ahead and get it on there again. And there we go. Because the boss is right up ahead. We're just going to go ahead and fight the boss because, yeah. We're, I mean, it, it's not going to take any time. All right. So, we are going to go on up. And this is the only time you can get to the boss door either. That's why this is a pretty linear, easy temple. As long as you don't forget a couple of those rooms in the beginning and you don't have trouble finding the keys in the beginning, like out in the open. Okay, I don't care. Just move. You're so fat, you gotta waddle up here. Alright, so... Nice bedroom. I guess. You know, that bed would not nearly be big enough for Yeto. And by the way, the guy's name is Yeto, and her name is Yetta. Just in case I didn't say that, which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Alright, I'm skipping this too. The mirror turns her evil, and she becomes the boss. That's it. <laughs> Alright, so, this is... Blizzetta. All you do, hit it with your balls. Dang it, dang it. Nope. Okay, good. It's basically just another freaking Freezy, which I really hate. Because I hate Freezies. Whew! I dodged it. Wow. I didn't do anything, but I dodged it. Die. Alright, so one more hit will do it. Oh, that would have been awesome if I got it on the rebound. Ooh, got him. Awesome. All right. Phase one is over. Okay. <sighs> oh, man, I, I skipped kind of a scary cutscene. Or, well, scary for little kids, not scary for actual adults, but, you know. <laughs> Basically, her face turns around and it's evil and stuff because, you know, you can see that she has, like, an evil face now. So, yeah. I really hate this phase. I hate this phase a lot. 
Oh crap. Alright, so. Ooh. Come on. There we go. Alright, that's the thing I hate about this phase. You see the did you see those little ice pillars, how they blocked me? <sighs> to explain. First part of it, they're going to fall down behind you. After they fall down, you're going to want to turn around and hit as many as you can, if you can hit any at all, with your ball and chain. And that will decrease their number when they fall around you in a circle. When they fall around you in a circle, she's going to fall in the middle of that circle, and then, you know, it's going to damage you. Like that. Yeah, there we go. I'm having no trouble this time. Oh, come on. Stop with the camera! Jeez. <laughs> Freaking camera angle, man. All right, but anyway, it can actually be very difficult to dodge these just because you can't move at all on the ice. I guess if you transform into Wolf Link, it wouldn't be so bad, but I'm just too lazy to do that. Okay, so find the hole that you made, and then... There we go. Lizetta, no damage. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. I, did. I took damage. Never mind. Okay, ugh. Yes, I killed you! Now shut up and give me my freaking, freaking Mirror of Twilight piece. Not a heart piece, a Mirror of Twilight piece. Give me the one piece! Thank you. Ugh. Okay, it's the Mirror... God, I know. Please shut up. Alright. One of three. Okay, thank you. Take your stupid thing and go away. Uh, this is so boring. Nobody wants to see this. Okay, well, actually, I kind of like this scene in the end here. It's cheesy as frick, but I, I like it. He sounds like the heavy. Has anybody ever noticed that before? He sounds kind of like the heavy right there. All right. Mirror you gave, it is gone because I killed you and then took it. Except you're still alive. Okay. Yeah. Look in reflection. Yeah, it's a, you have a black pupil with nothing in it. So utter darkness and evil is pure beauty, apparently, to him. <sighs> this is taking too long. I'm not even going to say aw, because I really don't care about them. <laughs> it is kind of cool how you get the... It, it's funny how you get the heart container. You know, it's like, poof. Yeah, poof. There you go. I don't want none of their freaking hearts. I'm not taking any of them. I don't need them. I got milk. Milk is good for the bones. Hearts are good for nothing. Absolutely nothing. But okay. Um, now that we've beaten Snowhead, or Snowhead, <laughs> now that we've beaten the Snow Peak Manor, we're going to go ahead and end it off. In the next part, we will hit the save button and we'll continue. So, see you guys then.